This wave did not come out in 2020. This wave did not come out in 2020. This wave did not come out in 2020. Let's go. Geeks, what's poppin'? To my shame. Fall 2020, how do I remember? Because I got this wave for my kids for Christmas. So yes, my kids have opened it and built Venom Pool on Christmas Day 2020 while mine sat in boxes in the basement. And I know it was early fall because when I ordered it for them for the Christmas, I had already had mine for probably about a month, a month and a half. Because I, I got them, no, actually I didn't get this wave early. I, I uh, actually got this wave like a week or two after the other reviewers got it. And that's probably why I didn't jump on it because I was already late and I had other stuff coming in. But anyway, you guys don't want to hear all that. So you know the drill by now, I'm going to go ahead and unbox all these. And then I'm going to take them over to the operating floor and we're going to dig into them with a scalpel and see how they look. Let's get into it. All right, so these guys technically aren't part of the wave. You know how they do. These are the single figures with no bath pieces. This was more a part of the wave than this one is. But this one looks like it's more part of the wave. This was a Walmart exclusive. This was sold everywhere with the wave and actually shipped with the wave. So I guess it is part of the wave. All right, so we've got all this Venom goodness to go through, Venom gooey goodness. Um, yeah, I, one thing about this wave that I don't get, it's entirely comic book based, but then they threw the movie Venom in. Not sure why. Well, and when I say that, I know the movie didn't give you a lot of characters to make a wave out of, so what I think they should have done was made him part of a two-pack. Who was the bad guy in the first one? I can't even remember some other Venom character. Make that one and do a two pack and give us another comic book character. But what do I know? I'm just a guy opening Legends really late. All right, let's get it over to the operating floor and see what these guys got inside. All right, so who makes up this wave? So first we have comic book Morbius. Now he doesn't come with any accessories. He only comes with a bath piece. Then you've got Carnage and Carnage, you see he has an alternate head there. Then you have Phage with his symbiote arm weapon. And you've got Ghost Spider, which is Spider Gwen or Gwen Stacy venomized. Then you got Miles here with no accessories, he just comes with bath pieces. Then you've got the two stray cats of the wave. You have Movie Venom from the Sony movie. Now he didn't come with a bath piece or anything. He's the one in the wave you could skip if you only wanted to build a bath. Then you had this single release, it was a Walmart exclusive venomized Captain America. You see he's got his tongue hanging out and he's got his venomized shield. So he's another one that you didn't need to complete the bath, but you needed to complete the wave. All right, the gang is all here. I always forget that I never opened this wave. And the reason for that is because I bought the whole wave for my kids for Christmas that year it came out, because this was a fall release. So I play with them, I built the bath, use them all the time. I even took my son's uh, carnage on vacation. So when I was going through my shelf and I saw I still had this, I was like, what's going on? But then I remembered I never opened mine. All right, so let's go ahead and take a quick look at them. Movie Venom. Carnage. Absolute carnage. The Ghost Spider. Here's Miles. Venomize Captain America. Let 
Mr. Morbius. And Phage, who is my favorite figure of the wave, even though I know absolutely nothing about him. Let's start with the one character in the wave that is not Venomized, Morbius. That is a nice face sculpt. Bravo on that. Outfit looks good. I like that he's got this zipper here, details on the belt, looks like he's ready to rock. He's got his fingers gloves in case he hits the club. And the swooping hair, that's different, like when we get original stuff. Now his cape, whoops, his cape easily fits right back here in this hole, and it's nice and secure, but loose enough to move. The tatters and the holes look good. Fingers are all white. Vampire and creepy. How long those fingernails left. Full 360 on the head. A little bit of a tilt. A little down. Up. Good range. He has abdominal crunch. Doesn't go back much. So you get 360 at the waist, 360 at the thigh, oh 360 at the calf, good, 360 at the foot, solid, he's a good looking dude. I think Ghost Spider is the most unique just because of that tongue, I mean that was specially sculpted just for this figure, so it's not reuse, and we haven't really seen anything like it, so I think that's awesome. Got little teeth in here, and teeth going along the tongue, which makes it extra nasty. <laughs> I like the way the hood looks like it's eating her face. Now if we take that tongue out of her hand, for a second, you look at the side of her costume, she's got the spider legs here. Now the spider on the back, I've never seen this spider symbol before, it's a broken spider. Looks pretty good. I got some scratches on mine. But I like the way this white webbing is coming up the side. Good design. She's on that old classic female buck. No waist articulation. But you can get her a 360 at the top. That head goes all the way around, I assume. Wait, oh, careful. Spikes on her shoulder. Chin gets caught on that. No real rock. She does look down, though. Nice and steep. Whoa! Whew. I guess she does look up. Yeah, she looks up. But don't tug too hard. 360 at the thigh. 360 at the calf. That's good. Of course. Sure, yeah. 360 at the foot. She has these little talons on her feet, which you might think we get in the way, but they actually make it easier to balance her. She stood up with no problems. Nice scraping claws. She's not gripping anything. I think she looks good. I think this Miles looks amazing. That spider on his costume covering his whole torso and going down his arms. Then the webbings are all distorted because he's venomized. I think that's a nice touch. They look almost like veins look on top of his head. Legs are all one color. And he's got his toes exposed. He looks really good though. Three sixty on the head. Oh, it gets good tilt. Down. Whoa. Way up. Good crunch. Oh, crunch way back. Articulation is dope on this guy. 360 at the waist, 360 at the thigh, 360 at the calf. Man, this wave was this wave was handing out the articulation. That's what I'm talking about. 
Mr. Phage. Now, why do I love this guy? Not the articulation, the paint job. I love that gold, shiny mustard. You don't see that a lot. And I don't know, something about him just catches my eye. Really dig him. 360 on that. Oop, let's take this back piece off. And that golden mustard goes all the way down. No paint to mess up. Got a little venomization on his lower legs, on his back and shoulders. That's about it. Look at those teeth. Right, 360 on the head. No tilt. Does look down good ways. Whew. Way back. Willy way back. Waist articulation. I go crunch. Add a crunch back. Of course, got the 360 to thigh. 60 the calf, and same with the feet. Same story around here. You might, well, actually, might not get all the way around because of that there. Oh yeah, you can, but really bends though, so I'm not gonna do that. And he's got the replacement arm blade accessory, which is dope. Carnage, he ships in with his absolute head, with that symbol right there, that's how you can tell. He has symbiote goo all over him from top to bottom. Except for right there for some reason. He comes with this accessory piece that snaps onto his back. He also comes with his regular carnage head. 360 there. It goes way up. And way down. Gets tilt. Crunch. And your back, not so much. It's not like the others. 360 at the waist, thigh, and calf. Oh, nice little symbiote webbing there. It spins around with it. Careful not to rip it off. And you got your feet. Oh, interesting. Intermittent clicks. Never seen that before on. A Marvel Legend. Oh, I can't think of any action figure. It's interesting. Found something new today. Cap Shield. This is tight work. It's dual layered. I don't. Does this come off? See, it spins in there. I think it's attached. I'm not going to pull that off. But it looks really good. I think they did a fine job venomizing the shield. It looks really good. It almost looks like candy. And that mug, old wing head, now has venom webs for wings. These legs are thick and sturdy. I think, are these the... I don't know which figure these legs are on. I think they're on one of the Captain Americas from the uh, Winter Soldier wave, but mine are still in the box, so I can't confirm. But they're thick and sturdy, stands well. 360 on the head, tilt, tilt. Raise it, ooh, that is ugly. Let me, ooh, whoa. Oh, let's see if that's pushed down all the way. Yes, it was, we won't be doing that with him anymore. Deep down. Our shoulders look like, yep. I was saying they look like they're gonna scrape right there against that entrance point, so you gotta roll the shoulder back to get it up under that if you want to get it up. Huh, he said you get it up. I like that the star on his chest is venomized. Stripes are venomized also. Good job with this. And I like that it's a mixture of black and blue. So it just seems like the venom symbiote goo is oozing over his blue uniform. Ah, crunch rage forward isn't too deep. Crunch range back. Not deep either. 360 at the waist. Thigh. 
and well, not well, right below the knee, not quite the calf. And 360 at the foot, but I can't express how solid he feels. He just feels good. Everything is nice and stiff and clicks. Intermittent clicks in the shoulder. I hadn't felt that before either. They did a lot of different stuff in this wave. We are Venom. Yeah. All right, so the one thing I know about this guy from playing with my sons is don't change the head unless you really have to. That head is hard to get off and even harder to get on. Maybe mine will be different, I hope, but uh, I'm not too optimistic about that. All right, so everyone was going crazy when this one came out because the buck was so great. And I don't know, every time I hold him, I kind of feel like I'm holding a fish. I don't know why, or he's black, oily, and slick, and then he's got these feet. I don't know what it is. Maybe it doesn't make any sense, but I just think of fish when I see him. But he is great. He's big, he's buff, and I don't think they've used this buck since, even though this would probably be a great saber tooth buck. I don't know if the height is right, but man, this build here, I'm surprised they don't use this more. And it's on an abdominal rocker. Man, they did the most of this figure. I've played with my sons, but I've never really checked the articulation. I just was kind of playing battle with him. So I'm kind of surprised here. Yeah, arms get up nice and high. What about the head? Hey, you get 360 on the head, you get any tilt? Yep, then he tilts. Well, okay, he tilts one way, but not the other. Doesn't really look up or down much. The back of his head is clipping on the neck, so you see right there. There's nothing you can do with that. So you don't get a lot of range there. And the neck kind of protrudes forward. But again, rocker here, 360 on it. Oof. That's some good range there. What about backwards? Yeah, and the rocker actually extends also. This is pretty impressive. I can't believe I had this in a box for two years. Oh, but you get no 360 at the waist. But you do get the, but you do get it up here, so I guess you can't really complain. Get it at the thigh. No calf. Man, this buck could have been almost perfect. If they could have moved the abdominal joint up just a millimeter or two so it could swivel at the waist there, and then you give it some calf rotation, that would have been perfect. Oh yeah, and a little bit more room, a little bit more movement in the neck. But hey, reach for perfection, get greatness. I like the way the webbing goes all over him. He's gloss, man, this glossy, shiny look. Top notch. Now let's see about that head. Let's see. Uh, oh, okay, so it was just my son. Uh, unless, maybe it came off easy. I didn't remember, but it was hard to go on. Let's see if I'm still singing that tune in a second. Actually, it makes sense it came off that easy because my son was able to get it off and he was five at the time. Actually, it wasn't that bad. Okay, so it appears that my son's ball and peg is just missized. So that goes to show you that everyone's cut the same from the factory. You still get, yeah. Oh, this one actually looks, wow. That head actually looks up a lot more. Interesting. It looks down a little bit. Huh, different cuts. And he also comes with a fist you can swap out. Big old fist. All right, so there's the whole crew. This is just a quick and dirty look for those of you that are newer collectors or maybe just never picked these up to see if they're worth looking into and see if maybe you want to track them down. I put links in the video descriptions to all the figures and their Action 411 listings so you can see the current prices on eBay and Amazon in case you want to add them to your collection. All right, let me know what you think in the comments. Did you buy this one when it came out? Have you picked it up since? Do you remember this wave? Are you fairly new to collecting and you never got a chance to get these and you're now interested? Let me know what you think of them. The articulation's pretty good. Um, I figured two years ago they'd be using a lot of old parts, but there's some stuff here that I hadn't seen before, so I'm pretty glad I got to open it up. All right, geeks, make sure to like, subscribe, turn on notifications, share a link to this playlist. I'm gonna do a lot more retro action figure reviews for those that are newer to collecting. A lot of people don't realize it, but we get new collectors every day. I just started collecting in 2019. When I started, I didn't know anything about all the older figures that I missed. I still don't know a lot, but I know how hard it is to get up to speed. That's why I'm doing these retro reviews so I can help out the new guys that are just kind of getting their feet wet and trying to figure out where to spend their money. All right, till next time.
Geek, and the whole Venom crew is out of here. Don't forget the vampire. <laughs>